Maia Campbell's story is a heartbreaking one of addiction and mental illness and is a true testament to how life can take you on a path you've never imagined. Maia was a huge star back in the day. She broke out into stardom by playing Lucky's cousin in Poetic Justice, then went on to star in other 90s hits, including Thea, South Central, and Beverly Hills 90210. But her most notable role was for In the House, where she starred alongside Debbie Allen and LL Cool J. Her beauty and charm took the world by storm. She even appeared in different music videos at the height of her career, including Little Kim's Not Tonight, Tyrese's Sweet Lady, and Fat Joe's What's Love. But as her career was on a steady rise to the top, she started using substances heavily and was always getting arrested for something, even ending up in multiple viral videos showing her looking like a shadow of her former self. Her family had previously released a statement to reveal they've been trying to get her the help she needs and that they are waiting for her to reach out when she is ready so she can begin treatment. Maia's mom, B.B. Campbell, wrote a book titled 72 Hour Hold and in it she wrote about a mother who had a daughter that was diagnosed with bipolar disorder who was refusing treatment. Many began to speculate the book was about Maia as she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and was refusing treatment. Instead of taking the medication, Maia instead took up drinking, cannabis, and other substances and got hooked. Maia's situation got really bad and in 2010, she was arrested for theft and was sent to a mandatory mental health facility in California. She was doing well for a while. Then in 2012, she appeared on Iyanla Fix My Life alongside her stepfather, daughter, and ex-husband, and they all wanted to help her. Maia had gotten married to Elias Gutierrez in 1998, and they had a daughter in 2000, but Maia lost custody of her the following year because she refused treatment for her bipolar disorder. After the show, she was doing well until she relapsed and was arrested in 2015 when she accused a child of stealing her wallet at a Burger King in Atlanta. Still in the same year, she was arrested again at a Waffle House for being drunk and refusing to leave the establishment. In 2017, a video of Maia begging for money and substances went viral. During that time, her former co-star, LL Cool J, appealed to people to help him find Maia so he can help her. A few days later, Maia released a video saying she doesn't need help. And LL Cool J fired back saying you can't help a person that doesn't want your help. Maia went viral again in 2020 in a video where she was asking for money with plenty of people attesting that they would see her begging for cash and a ride around Atlanta. A woman named London took to Facebook to say she always saw Maia around a Texaco gas station where she would beg for money, but she didn't recognize that it was Maia. London saw Maia again at a different location and confessed that she looked familiar. This is when Maia admitted that she was in several TV shows and music videos, even showing London pictures of herself at her prime. Maia admitted to London that the industry and life had been rough on her and had accused Bill Cosby of taking advantage of her amongst others, allegedly. She also admitted to Essence that her dad being absent in her life and her mom's brain cancer diagnosis took a toll on her. As we all know, Hollywood has its dark side and maybe she wasn't strong enough to handle it all so she turned to substances to self-soothe. Prayers up for Maia. Since then, there hasn't been much on her. Maybe she finally has decided to receive the help she desperately needed to return back to herself again. Thank you so much for watching. Leave some kind words below for those struggling with life or addiction and let them know they are not alone. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.